Hey kittens and welcome back to Let's Play Broken Sword the Smoking Room Acid. Now I know what to do. What I had to do was do that and I would have known what to do. An ugly little cave. Didn't look like the sort of place you'd want to leave treasure. An ugly little cave. There was an enormous cave. Every tourist for the last three centuries must have been in that one. Heck, Ketch could have hidden his treasure anywhere. This island's full of hiding places. It was the marker which I had raised up the needle of rock. I could see the marker I had fastened on the rock down in the forest, and right in line with it, the rock I was looking for. Oh, like that. This does appear to turn the rest of the sense of genre that is here I couldn't open the crate, and I couldn't move it. Pablo would probably shoot me on sight. The crate was sealed and too heavy to move.
so unique. I love that game, I love that idea. I am so in. The tactical advantage of hiding in there escaped me. I couldn't get near it with that guard patrolling the deck. Mm. Sorry for looking at that clue, I was just... I'm dealt with. <laughs> so that's all you have to do. So you just get to lock it. So I can't... Is that what you need to do?
got you. Yes. That's what the mop was for. To keep him locked in there. But the Kolar woman was there. They'll know it was me. But you have the stone. The right stone, you're sure? Yes, of course, it's the Jaguar stone. No possible mistake. Here it is. Garzak, please. The police will be looking for me soon. You're going to get me out of the country, aren't you? Stop your whining, Ubier. Do you have any idea what this stone symbolizes? I thought you just wanted it to frighten the natives. Fool. I intend to cast this stone into the sea. But why? It's unique. Exactly. With it gone, the Mayan priest's plan to destroy Tezcatlipoca cannot succeed. I can assure you that Tezcatlipoca is a mythical figure. Such a small mind you live in. Tezcatlipoca is real. I have seen him in my dreams. We have spoken of his plans for this world. We have spoken of your part in these plans. My part? He told me you would be useful. He told me how to crush your spirit by turning you to drugs. My wife died. You know that full well. She was my world, my everything. And now? You are no longer useful. She called out your name as she died, you know. What? What are you saying? And then they thought you'd done it. It all worked perfectly. You? It was you? You bastard! You monster! For the love of God, Karzak! Which one? I couldn't just rifle his body without making sure he was really dead. There were no signs of life. We were going to need the stone to thwart Karzak. I knew Oubillé would have approved. It was the Jaguar stone, all right. You insane psycho. I was seconds from death. I had to stop him somehow. I, I took too long. How is this? that Oh, I've got everything down the desert but she's the beach by got a rock when pirates pirates I was about to make good my escape when... Cut! Who the hell are you? Uh, I can explain everything. Don't bother. <laughs> Did we stab on him too? I'm sorry, I didn't realize you were making a movie. So who are you? Stobart, George Stobart. Uh, Two B's and two T's. It's okay, Mr. Hawks. He wasn't in the shot. Hawks? This had to be Carlton Hawks, the newest enfant terrible of Tinseltown. I'd read about him. Mailroom boy makes good. Nice to know it was still possible to get to be a director armed with only an encyclopedic knowledge of postal charges. Stay out of the way, surfer boy. I'll deal with you later. Surfer boy? Okay, we've made some really good progress. And how far along are we? 81%. We're that far along. Which is good. This has been a really productive episode. 
not sure what I'm going to call this episode, mind you. But now we've got something. But this is it for this video, and I will see you again in the next video.